Hey guys, Hackers Blight here, back again with another video, and yes, you can finally see my face now. Uh, this is something I've been thinking about for a long, long time, and uh, it's finally here, so do let me know what you think, uh, whether you enjoy the videos like this with, um, obviously with my face cam, uh, or you would like a full screen, um, you know, tutorial video, uh, just the way I usually do them. All right, so let's get to today's video. So today's video is going to be about uh, ARP poisoning or ARP spoofing. And essentially uh, how to allow uh, or redirect packets or uh, you know traffic to flow through our device essentially uh, you know performing an, a man in the middle attack but in this video we'll be focusing more on how ARP works and how uh, ARP poisoning works all right so you might be asking yourself well, what is ARP is this the first time you're hearing about it um, if it is ARP is essentially a, a network protocol and uh, I believe it is uh, in the OSI 2 layer so essentially, it, uh, what it stands for is uh, an address resolution protocol, and its purpose is to uh, resolve uh, MAC addresses to IP addresses. All right, so uh, when it comes down to uh, ARP spoofing, what happens is uh, what we are going to be doing is, and the concept behind ARP spoofing is that you're going to send an ARP response to a client, all right? So a client on the network, you're, you being the attacker, all right, saying, I am the router, all right, and then telling the client, uh, that the device with the router IP address has my MAC address. So essentially what's happening is the uh, you're the hacker or the uh, the attacker and there's the router and you have the client that you want to target obviously through the uh, IP address and obviously this is done locally obviously because it's on a network, right? So you, you are essentially telling the client, you're connecting to the client with the router's IP address, right? Uh, so you're connecting to the client with the router's IP address, which is the default gateway address. And you're telling, um, you're essentially telling the client that I am the router and you should pass your traffic th through me, right? So you're standing in between the client and the router. And obviously you've tricked the client uh, by telling, uh, by obviously using the router's IP address, but, you're, but the MAC address will be your MAC address and you're exploiting uh, the ARP protocol uh, because the ARP protocol, uh, any ARP response will be trusted. So that's a very, very easy way of exploiting this uh, technology or this protocol. So the tool we're going to be using is ARP spoof uh, or ARP spoof uh, as it's commonly known as. And it's a very, very powerful tool that will allow us to um, to actually redirect traffic from clients to our device. And, uh, you know, uh, from that point onwards, you can perform man in the middle attacks and, you know, sniff the traffic. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, I'm on Linux right now and I'm just going to open up uh, my Terminator because I find that this is a fantastic tool that uh, is great for this purpose and you'll see why. So what I'm going to do is, or actually, uh, I would actually prefer to use the terminal because I can enlarge the text here and we can uh, have a good idea of what's going on in terms of uh, what's being printed out on, on the terminal. Right, uh, so there we are finally open up the terminal that took a while for some reason so i'm just going to zoom in now what we need to do first is we need to use net discover i'm going to be using net discover and uh, you can use net discover to discover uh, the devices on your network or computers on a network that you want to perform the man in the middle attack all right so what does this mean so uh, for example i'm going to try and uh, target my host operating system which is right here so i'm just going to check my ip config there we are, and my local IP address is 192.168.1.104. All right, so I'm back in Cali Linux, and I've got the uh, the Windows on my host operating system address, and that's uh, what I want to perform the ERP spoof on or ERP poisoning on. So uh, since I already know what the IP address is, we can get started. So to use ERP spoofing, it's uh, really, really easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up two terminals because we're going to need to initialize ARP spoof uh, twice. Okay, so uh, let me just open this up. For some reason, that's taking really, really long to open. Uh, I apologize for this freeze up. Uh, I should have actually opened this prior to this. Uh, but anyway, uh, just give it a few seconds. Oops, there we are. We have some kind of uh, graphical glitch there. All right, now let me just zoom in. Okay, so we can get started now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, to get started, it's really very simple. So we use the ARP spoof command or ARP spoof, right? Now the commands are very, very simple. We use I for interface, all right? So the I, uh, we, now this is depending on you. If you're using a Wi-Fi card, 
you can choose your uh, your Wi-Fi device uh, name, which is uh, if you're using a wireless adapter, it'll be LAN zero or WLAN zero. And uh, since I'm using Ethernet, I'm going to be using e Ethernet zero. So those are the default uh, hardware names given or device names given to the different uh, network adapters that you could be using. All right. The next thing is to use the T command because this allows us to set, select the command uh, the target. Now, it's very, very important that since we're going to be running two instances of this because we are tricking both the router and the client that uh, I am the router and I am the client. So uh, you, you'll get the gist once we're moving along. So now we have to specify the target IP. All right. So in this instance, we're going to specify the target IP first. So that is going to be 192.168.1.106. OK. And then after that, I'm going to target the default gateway, which is my router's IP address. All right, so essentially what we're doing here is we're essentially targeting the um, the, your, the the your target or the client in which you're trying to perform the spoof attack on, the ERP spoof attack on, and we're telling uh, that client that we are the router because we're using the default gateway's uh, IP address, right? So 168.1.1. All right, fantastic. Uh, once we've hit, uh, once this is good, uh, so essentially let's look at the syntax again. ERP spoof. Uh, the your your wireless adapter or interface name and the target but in this case we're using the target IP first and then the default gateway IP after that and I'm going to hit enter whoops I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start ARP spoof on that and now for the next uh, terminal whoops for some reason we couldn't uh, oh yeah I actually made a mistake the target IP is 104 let me just try that again there we are fantastic it's working now so again, depending on what your target IP address is, you can specify that accordingly. Now on the next one, ARP spoof again. Uh, ARP spoof, uh, the interface uh, LAN zero, uh, oops, Ethernet zero for me. Don't worry about uh, what the other t terminal is doing. That really doesn't matter because again, it's just sending the request to the client saying that I'm the router. So we haven't completed the ARP spoof uh, attack uh, just yet. So now we specify the target, but in this case, now we're telling the router that I am that client. I am 192.168.1.104, all right? So we use the, uh, the default gateway of the router's IP, 168.1.1. Then we specify the target's IP, so 192.168.1.104. And uh, once that's done, we just hit enter, and it's going to complete the ARP, uh, the ARP spoofing. And now essentially all the traffic is going to be passing through us. And now you can start using tools like Wireshark to analyze or to sniff the traffic, or you can use DSniff, which is part of ARP spoof, or actually ARP spoof is part of the DSniff package. So if I open up a new terminal here, let me just see if it, I can open that up. So DSniff, uh, if I just hit DSniff, whoops, uh, let me just uh, increase uh, the, the font size here. So D sniff, right? So if I open up D sniff, it's going to start listening on Ethernet zero, and it's going to save the files uh, or the sniffed files that it's got from that uh, from the client that you're performing the RP spoof on, and uh, it'll save it in the home folder where you can find the log file for D sniff. And essentially, what you can do now is open up a you know a traffic analyzing tool like Wireshark, or, or or whatever tool you choose to use, and you can go through the packets that are being sniffed because all the traffic from that device is passing through the attacker machine, which is what I'm using now. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, on the website, I'm accepting articles or tutorials that you guys, uh, if you want to post a tutorial or a guide, just uh, write it up to me, uh, review it. And if it's good enough or it's, uh, you know, it's, it's giving value to people, I'll publish it on the website under your name. So yeah, I'm hoping to make it a lot more interactive and I'm gonna be posting a lot of more tutorials on their guides, things to help you guys get started and you know, things to keep you guys going in terms of learning about hacking and you know, anything else. So if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section or you can hit me up on my social networks. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.